Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brushes and Bunnies, and this video is a very, very special one. To mark the amazing milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers, I wanted to create a new display photo for my YouTube channel. So I'll be changing this sketch, or creating the sketch, into this final watercolor work of art. Holy smokes. That's pretty much all I can say. Actually, no, that's not true. I can say a lot more, but that's pretty much how I'm feeling uh, when I just think about the fact that I reached over 100,000 subscribers yesterday. And it was such an odd feeling because it was one of those things where I was waiting for it to happen for so long. And it was also one of those things where I just did not really expect that I would ever reach this sort of milestone in my little YouTube career. I want to first say Thank you to all those have, that have supported me throughout this entire time. For the older subscribers up until the new subscribers, which hello by the way, a lot of you guys have recently joined, so welcome to the YouTube channel. But I just want to say thank you for all of your support. You have all made this journey worth it, just in terms of your comments, your constructive uh, criticism, uh, your feedback, your support, uh, your funny little, I don't know, topics whenever we talked about things in live streams there were all kinds of things that really made me feel good and made me really really happy and also motivated me to continue doing what i was doing basically the topic for this video is actually going to be talking about how I reached 100,000 subscribers. I'm not going to be doing a full-on guide about it because there's so much behind it and there's honestly I could talk endlessly about this topic. But I just want to talk about sort of the hard work that comes with owning a YouTube channel, especially an art YouTube channel, and also sort of the hard work that involves uh, you know, all kinds of different factors for reaching 100,000 subscribers. So I'm just going to talk about this in this video. I hope you guys will enjoy this topic. It's pretty interesting and uh, it's also interesting just to get the perspective from an actual uh, like art YouTuber and to see exactly what go goes behind the scenes of doing all of this or producing videos. Having an art YouTube channel is definitely not as easy as you think, because not only do you need to learn video production, but you also need to either learn how to do art, how to draw, how to paint, and also you need to improve or to grow your skill as time goes on. Now, of course, this really depends on what you're trying to achieve. In my case, I really want to grow my skill. I want to get better. I want to try to get to a certain level that I expect of myself. And that is just for me because I want to make a career out of this. But for others, it's totally fine that you just want to do it as a hobby. You just want to draw and paint in your own style and not really progress from there. Or not necessarily progress, but I mean, like, just not evolve you want you're happy with what you're doing you want to stay in that specific uh, sort of position or setting and that is also totally fine so that's that's something you really need to decide for yourself but in my case growth is very important and it just makes things a lot more complicated because learning video production learning how to do youtube learning the mechanics of youtube and seo as well as continuously drawing to improve myself these like all of this takes time and time is something that is crucial to growing a youtube channel when i got really really serious about youtube this was approximately in october 2016 and during that time i had about 240 subscribers i was not serious i was not uploading i uploaded a couple times you're probably gonna see some of my older videos and yeah you're gonna see the timestamp and everything it was way back way way back in 2015 and I, I just, I was not serious about YouTube. I just did not know the opportunities it could bring. And I just didn't really put effort into it. Now, October 2016 is when I really tried. And from then on, I tried every single day with YouTube. It took me about a year and 10 months to go from 240 subscribers up into 100,000 subscribers. To break it down even further, you can divide or yeah, break down the one year and 10 months into days. So it would be a total of 669 days. I hope I calculated that right. I'm really bad at math, but let's say we have 669 days. I can for sure say that on average, I spent a minimum of four hours a day working towards my goal of YouTube and of improving myself as an artist. So whether that be learning video production, editing a, uh, a video or filming a video, learning a video editing software, 
or any other software. And then on top of that, also just drawing or painting or um, working on growing my art skill. Like I could probably say four hours a day is a pretty good estimate. So that's a lot of hours and a lot of time. That being said, spending four hours a day is something that has worked for me. This is something that I'm able to commit to and this is something that I, I feel like I need to do in order to get to that level that I want to be at where I'm a self-sustained uh, artist. I, I can live off of what I do and the passion that I have for this, I can, I can have a life because of it. So this is what I feel like I need to do and also what works best for me. Now what works best for me may not work for you because there are all oh, so many other things in life, for example school, if you have children, if you have to take care of a sick family member for example, there's all kinds of things. Also if you have work, which I also have work by the way, <laughs> so I'm technically doing two jobs at once. Uh, but there's there's life, life just gets in the way, so if you cannot commit to four hours a day, this is also completely fine. You just need to remember to go at your own pace. Another factor apart from time, which I think really really helped reach the 100k milestone and also in terms of my own artistic milestones themselves, was just to schedule or to have a weekly or daily schedule. In terms of YouTube, that is of course your upload schedule, so you need to commit to a specific upload schedule that works for your own schedule. For me, it used to be Thursdays and Sundays, and I realized with the introduction to Patreon, I could not commit to that, so I only upload on Sundays. Although I am wanting to get back to the two uploads a week because I feel like it does help my channel much better, I might go back to this. But this is something that I have set for myself, and for a year and 10 months, this is what I have been doing and it has yeah it just works in that regards and i would definitely recommend you consider having a schedule in terms of art schedule this is something that i commit to uh like kind of like on a private level where i tell myself okay you're gonna draw something every single day whether that be a two minute doodle or a two hour drawing this is up to me how i feel how much time i have that day but as long as I draw something, then I will be good, I will feel better, and I knew or I know that that day at least I did something to further grow my art skill. In my opinion, these two things are huge components or major components to being a successful art YouTuber. Another major factor in being successful is to do your research. This covers a wide variety of topics, which I'll probably have to dedicate another video to because there's so much to talk about. But when I say research, I mean literally research all across the board. So look at your competitors, see what they're doing in the art community, how they film videos, the quality of the videos, the topics that they're filming. Just check them out, see how this works, how they're doing it, and see what you can change or what, how you can improve based on the success of these YouTubers. Uh, also, in terms of just the way that they do their thumbnails, the way that they do the titles, the keywords, the descriptions, you also need to research topics, you need to research what's popular in the art community, you need to research the trends, you need to research uh, the, uh, the YouTube algorithm, how does it work, how can you, uh, you know, change things up for your own YouTube channel in order to get recognized within the community. And I don't mean to copy <laughs> exactly what they're doing. What I mean is to use them as a case study because you can really learn a lot about the tips and tricks that they're doing that is making them successful. So there's a lot you can learn, especially if you're a beginner, and it's just a matter of research, of opening up your eyes, and just watching, I think. That is something that I did early on, and I learned so much from it. That's basically everything. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a summary of how I reached 100k and the things that I looked out for. So I hope it did help you. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. As always, I want to wish you guys a lovely day. Keep drawing, keep being awesome. Don't ever give up. And thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. I am so excited. And yeah, we will see each other in the next video. Bye.